Hello everybody, welcome to this fourth Sunday uh, garden update. Here we are in the greenhouse. Here's all the pepper plants, they've all coped very well with the little haircut they had about five or six weeks ago. These ones have all come back. Um, I've noticed a few interesting ones. You've got these yellow ones, they're all a nice dark coloured um, leaf, whereas some of them are a little bit lighter over here. Uh, I've managed to take pollen from 2RC20, which is the red chilli, the second red chilli plant, unrelated to, of course to this one, which I've given it a different number. Uh, this one, 1RC20, is the chilli plant, the, my original chilli plant, that's doing really well. I've already had some of the chilies from it and saved the seeds. Yellow Romero 20 is the pollen plant for this one. You can see this fruit is just about starting to turn red. Um, the father plant, which is the one on the right of that sign, won't affect these fruits, but the seeds inside will. That's where their influence, genetic influence, will come out. Of course, yellow Romero is this guy. Uh, there we are. I've got two fruits on there which I pollinated back in July. They are now, here they are, they look like sort of bananas really. Very nice, the banana plant. Modern bananas, no sugar, hardly any sugar in them. Uh, Free OB20 is an orange bell pepper plant. And there's, a, there's some pollinations in there. RR, Free RR20 is red Ramiro's, which is this one. I've got it turned the other way around, but this is the red Ramiro. This one is the second red Romero, is starting to turn uh, into red, so I know that's red. This one over here is actually, this red one is actually 2RR20, that's a branch that's leaning over. All of these guys over here are all just bell peppers. I've got a bit of a problem with, if you look closely in there you can see a load of green fly. Um, I've introduced some ladybirds out here to try and kill some of them, but I can't get my hands on them. More than about one or two ladybirds. Um, no sooner do I introduce them, and they, they've got heaven for food here, and they just want to go outside. They just want to escape, which is a bit of a, a problem. Got the basil plant in the middle there, which I don't think that's <laughs> is just attracting the pests to it as well. Don't think that's going to help the green fly. All these down here are just. They, these are just sidekicks to the boss plants, yellow Romero. These are the yellow Romero sidekicks, which are just they just weren't as good as that yellow Romero. That yellow Romero. I know they're in bigger pots now, but when they were smaller, they all had the same chance, and this guy was the best. Same with this red chili. He was just miles ahead of these other guys. I mean, they're nowhere in comparison. Of course, they're nowhere now because they're in small pots. But again. That, that one was twice as big um, when these were just, you know, half the size. Red chili, you've got red Ramiro's over there, which are just, these were the best free. And there we go, that's all the peppers. Round about here, we've got just stinging nettles. I've been putting lots of sticks and bits of wood down. I've got a comfrey here, I think. I think this is comfrey really good for blending up and making into uh, plant feed. I've cleared away this Hebe, it just died. Got rid of all the stuff that was there and I'm going to extend this nettle patch over all so that any nettles I get I'll just have loads more then I can come out here and just nip a few, boil these up and make nettle tea and uh, off cuts of nettles which I can't drink I'll mix with a fried egg and some grated cheese and some bacon and that'll be lovely. Here I've got my compost area. These are all full. I've put just ordinary garden waste in the bottom and then just dumped ordinary garden soil on top. There's some cardboard boxes in there as well. And yeah, it's all just soil at the top. Same with that one. That one didn't have a lid so I improvised with some plastic. And 
that's it. That's the gar most of the garden. Well, that's the greenhouse anyway. All lots of sticks I've covered in soil and put around about in places. There's some soil in under there that I could put in the compost as well. These are the white buddleias that are looking all right. Not bad for in the um, in the what in the grower box still. The globosa buddleia there as well. He's coming back. I've had to water him a couple of times because it's dried out. We've had some very hot weather this year. Uh, the avocado trees are in the aviary, just there, in those big pots. They look very happy. And there we go. That's the garden update for September.